Hello, and welcome to our instructional series of videos. We're going to show you how to properly calibrate the power management system on your portable Mac after replacing the internal battery. This calibration process will allow your newly installed battery to charge to its full capacity, reach its full lifespan, and will enable the system to accurately display the battery level. In this video, we'll be demonstrating the process with a MacBook Pro, but the process is the same regardless of model. We've already replaced the battery and have turned on our laptop to make sure the battery is connected. The battery comes with a partial charge, which should be enough to boot to the desktop. We can now begin the calibration process. First, shut your computer all the way down. Then attach the power adapter. The light on the adapter should turn amber to show that the battery is charging. Once the battery is 100% charged, the light should turn green. Once it has, you should leave it connected for at least two more hours. However, you can use your computer during this time rather than leaving it off. After that, we'll need to discharge the battery. First, in the Energy Saver Preference pane, make sure all the sliders are set to the right and any power saving measures like sleeping the hard drive are turned off. Do this for both the power adapter and the battery settings. Once you've done that, disconnect the power cable and let the battery discharge completely until the computer shuts down. You can still use it at this time, but don't do anything particularly heavy. Steady and even usage will result in better power system calibration. Once the battery is discharged, your computer will automatically shut down. Leave it shut down for at least five hours to ensure the battery is completely drained. Finally, reattach the power cable and let the battery charge back up to 100%. This time you can use the computer while it's charging. Once the battery is charged back up, the power management system is properly calibrated. You can now set your energy saver settings back to normal and use your computer normally.